Welcome back, Simple Homeowners. Today, we're gonna to use a spring hinge on my garage door. I didn't know how much I missed it until we moved and this garage door did not have one. The idea behind this is as soon as you go in, door will shut and it won't stay open. Uh, a lot of times I try to open this door, I swing it open too hard when you're carrying groceries in, next thing you know, it's crashing into the washer. So let's try this, it should be an easy install. Uh, famous last words, let's see how it goes. The first thing we need to do is remove this hinge. I'm gonna use it on the middle, middle one. It's a, it's a kind of a heavy door, so we'll see if one of these hinges, uh, spring hinges will be enough. All right, here's the last screw. And the washer's right behind there, so I wanna be careful doing this. There we go. All right, so it's down. I already see there could be a little bit of a problem. The thickness on this but we'll see if it's too thick, the new one, if it's too thick, it'll keep the door, it'll throw the door out of alignment. We can always adjust it over here if we need to, but let's, let's see how this will work. There's a slight difference already. So the one that came off is more rounded than the new one. It's rounded, but not nearly as extensive as the other one. So I'm just gonna briefly just test fit it. There we go, let's see. Looks like there's gonna to have to be a little bit of modification going on. I'm gonna to have to, to trim around here. So let me uh, see how that's gonna work and we'll, we'll go from there. Not too much though, I'm pretty close. So some adjustments is gonna to have to happen. So I need to just come over just a little bit. Luckily I have a chisel set. Line it up a little bit. Same thing down here. Just a little bit. So let me work on this, trim this up, and uh, I'll show you how we're looking. So as you can see, I trimmed it up a little bit here fits in there pretty good. None of the screw holes match up. So I'm gonna drill those real quick, just where it is, I'm gonna put a drill, and put the screws in, and then I'll take care of this side. But uh, let me get some drilling going on here, we'll take care of that. I'm not gonna to worry too much about the drill size as long as it's not bigger than the screws that they give you. So this is a 564 bit. So just gonna drill in here. And we'll see how that works. Uh, just have to now stick the screws in. Just make sure it's lined up pretty good. Here's one. I'm just gonna do the two for right now until I get this side adjusted. And then once we get this side adjusted, then uh, we'll go from there. So this side had one screw hole that'll line up. So let's see if I can get that going. Yeah, not too bad. All right, so I just need to now drill these other ones and uh, we'll, we'll go from there. Making some progress pretty good. So these holes might need to be a little bit bigger because it's going into the metal piece here. But we're gonna try it and see what happens. It comes with different type of screws, uh, wood screws and metal screws. They're not self-tapping metal screws, it doesn't look like, uh, or if it is, it's not very strong self-tapping. So I just need to make these a little bit bigger, or I'm gonna try to put a, a, the other screw in here first and see if that'll make a difference. So this is sort of like a hybrid screw. It's got self-tapping on it. So I'm gonna try that and see if that'll work. And this is what came with it. Not 
too bad. Careful when you rub it that you don't get metal shavings, but that's on there pretty good. Take this other side back up. And just have two more screws to put here, and then we'll go to the adjustment. So what's very important, uh, and I did not do this here, uh, I've installed this upside down. And I, I can't believe I did that. But let's take it off, redo it, and uh, do it correctly. And I'll show you the mistake that I made. On this side, that's the bottom, there's no adjustment. Here's the adjustment. That should have been up, and I knew that, and I still let myself not do it right. All right, well, at least the holes are already pre-drilled. All righty, we're getting close. One more screw, and then we'll show you how to adjust it. Okay, the hinge is now installed. Uh, now we need to adjust it. Sure, it still closes okay. So the hinge has pushed it over a little bit, but it's not too bad. Uh, I could take this hinge off and make it a little bit deeper. Uh, that's what I was saying before that this is a little bit thicker than the other one, but it's not too bad. So let's uh, let's see how this will work. And if not, then I'll have to take this side off and adjust it. For adjustments, they suggest shutting the door. And depending on which way you want the door, if you want it to go here or there, but for our application, we want the door to shut this way. So you put the Allen wrench right on top, turn it clockwise. So it's just not quite tight enough yet, so I'll turn it. There's a little pin there. So we open the door, see our tension. So you can see we open it. Just not quite tight enough yet. I think one more. Let me show you the adjustment. So when I take this pin out, So we put the Allen wrench in tight on top. You turn it just a little bit to get this back out. Inside here, you'll see that there's another adjustment. Let's see if that'll work. So just turn it a little bit to loosen up the, the pin. See the hole there? It's got some tension on it for sure. I've adjusted as far as I feel comfortable doing. So now I'm gonna tap this in uh, to go in a little bit further. Let me show you what we have on the outside here. So it's just not quite enough. So instead of adjusting it any further, I'll either get another one or we'll just use that. Because usually when I open it, I have groceries, you swing it open like that. Uh, and that might work for me. It does hit a little bit up top. So I'm gonna do a final adjustment on that. But I'm pretty happy with it the way that it is. And these things are about $20, $25. They're not hateful, but it's kind of a universal one. They have, I think this was a four inch, they have three inch. So you need to measure your hinge, but it's not gonna be exactly right. So there will be some fine tuning adjustment. I fiddled with it a little bit more. Now when I open it, it will shut all the way. Now that's also with the laundry door open. Uh, when it's closed, when this laundry room door is closed, it creates more of a, it doesn't allow it shut as easy. Also, to bring the door over, what I did was changed out these screws with longer screws and they pulled it over more. 
So as you can see now at the top, it no longer drags right here. So there we go. I think I'll leave it like that, but if I need to, we can always add one more hinge. But this is what it looks like when it's done. It's not bad for a laundry room garage door, so there we are. So that's all I have for you today, Simple Homeowners. Thank you for watching. Appreciate it if you'd like and subscribe.